We traditionally begin with David kicks us off, then I've got David, Terry, Tom, Gwyneth, Rick, and people will be added as they come. And I will try not to get uh, too brain weary by the third hour to forget where people are, but we'll see. So let's kick this off with uh, David, if you'd be so kind. All right, then. Uh, I've decided to play a medley of two Irish harp tunes by the famous... Irish harper Carolyn, who lived from 1670 until 1738. And the interesting thing to me about his compositions is that they sound good just about whatever instrument you use to play them on. Of course, they were originally composed on the ancient wire-strung harp, but uh, you play it on anything and it sounds good in my opinion. So the first tune is called Carolyn's Cup and the second tune we don't really know what he called it. The title has been lost but nowadays it's known as Carolyn's Welcome for various and sundry reasons. So I'm going to play these on the English System Concertina.
Lovely Thank you very much. The, uh, the, ha- the uh, concertina sounds in fine health since you it does. Uh, had it repaired. So. Got a second wind. Well, what sort of repairs <laughs> did you have done to it, David? Oh, well, uh, I've had it for nearly 10 years, and it's over 100 years old, so it needed a lot of um, refurb, complete tuning, valve replacement, uh, bushings replaced, uh, buttons polished, uh, mechanism uh, checked, so on and so forth. These concertinas appear simple from the exterior, but they're actually very, very complicated pieces of machinery once you take them apart, and they all have to be working just right in order for it to produce music. It's one of those strange little things. Thanks. Sounded great, sounded great. Thank you. Listening to Dave and all the great uh, concertina players on Folksol, I'm sorely tempted to take up the instrument, but... (laughs) Do it! I have at one time or another played a dozen different instruments, but in my old age, I think I can only keep up with the guitar and the banjo. But if you if you play the Anglo-German system concertina, it's got the same push-pull setup as a harmonica, so you're golden. And I think you could play the harmonica and the push-pull... Uh, yes. Hard enough to play the, at the same time. That yes. Was, you know, work for five years. Was Give Dave you. on when I was talking about John Hammond? Said that he could he could pl- he could get four keys out of one harp by different positions, but he knew harmonica players that could get eight keys. <laughs> <laughs> he played a wonderful minor key blues in uh, in the key of B minor, played on an A harp. <laughs> I, I believe it. And the guitar. <laughs> I Terry, you're up, man. Yes, here we go. Okay, well, this song is an old mountain song, and it uh, uh, is a lender and borrower of many uh, floating verses, so we can't tell which songs are the lenders or which ones are the borrowers. But uh, there's been many versions of this, and I this one includes pieces of uh, renditions by... Hetty West, Peggy Seeger, and Roscoe Holcomb. Free Little Bird. And I 
I'll never get real tired and I drift them by the mountains down. If I was a little fish, I'd swim to the bottom of the sea. And there I'd sing my song. And there I'd sing my sad little song. Cause nobody cares for me. can't stay here by myself Oh, I can't stay here by myself No, I can't stay here nor neither nowhere else I can't stay here by myself track till the mail train comes back that's and... right yeah yeah <laughs> yeah rolling my sweet baby's arms yeah, out that's right. there's <laughs> also there's also a charlie pool song with the same tune called i'm the man who rode the mule around the world <laughs> right well everybody should get folked that's a long that's a long journey yeah, yeah so it, everybody yeah. needs to ride a mule yeah so that so the song has floater verses and a floater melody too yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for that. Uh, I, this morning, while I was eating my um, sausage and cheese kolache, <laughs> I, I had a present, which was a poem from Tom. Uh, on. Ah, ah. I wonder if he's doing that today or something else, but it was very nice. Ah, later on. We'll soon find later out. On, okay, here we, <laughs> here we go. This Take is an ancient it. folk poem called um, uh, Austin, Texas, May 15, 2022. You may have heard it before, but it goes like this. Cloudy with rain unlikely, tomorrow excessive heat index, summer in spring disrupted weather patterns, fire ants are molding again. Spring gardens arising, wars on horizon, Austinites navel gazing. Emotionally speaking, sweltering. At any moment, hot rain may soak our little library again. Blueberry in the tomato soup of right wing Texas, little Austin, now million citizens with millionaires everywhere. More settlers, same water supply, contamination of watershed, a constant threat, algae and lakes, dogs advised to stay away, drought and flood and fires played dice with us today. South Austin Renaissance revivification processes, reverie books, quacks, lazy days, Austin Java, cheek by jowl, so small, so close, so intimate, where we all live as human radios. Once we talked about the weather, now we are those weather patterns, emotionally, spiritually, folk-wise. There are always new reasons to be cheerful if we are all high as the price of gas, high as the rate of inflation, high as legal marijuana, high as the war with Mexico, high as two tons of confiscated cocaine, high as our trade deficit, high as gun deaths of children, high as all our fentanyl deaths, high as desert, suburban, inner city anger, high as tax evading corporations, high as rates for cryptocurrencies, high as one million covered deaths, high as racism, sexism, ageism, high as flags raised half mast to remind us all, democracy is a folk work in progress. There you go, Huzzah! <laughs> and speaking of high in Austin, which are 
two words that you do often hear in the same <laughs> breath. Uh, <laughs> we should take a bow, I think, because we passed a city ordinance that uh, yeah. kind of, uh, uh, legalizes possession of small amounts of marijuana. Marijuana! And, and, and even more importantly, bans no-knock warrants and all this. Yes. But 80% of the vote. Yeah. Yay us. Yay us. Yay. Yay. Yay yeah. joints. I have uh, several here about me that need uh, rejuvenating. Yay us, drivers. I don't often get to do my happy victory dance, but I'll do it. <laughs> well, all I can say is well done, you voting people, you. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Excellent. All right, we are moving on, and it's Gwyneth, if you would care to take the stage. Right. This is a song called Fair Maid of Islington. <clears throat> there was a fair maid of Islington, as I had many tell, and she was going to London town, her pears and apples to sell. As she was going along the road, a vint knitted her a spy. Ah, oh, what shall I give, fair maid, said he, one night with you to lie. Oh, what shall I give, fair maid, said he, one night with you to lie. If you would lie with me one night, you must give me five pound. A match, a match, the vintner said, and so let this go round. When he had lain with her all night, her money she did crave. Oh no, oh no, the vintner said, the devil a penny you'll have. Oh no, oh no, the vintner said, the devil a penny you'll have. <coughs> This maid she made no more ado, but to the justice went. The vintner hired a seller of me and will not pay the rent. Then straight the justice for him sent and asked the reason why that he would pay this maid no rent, to which she did reply that he would pay this maid no rent to which he did reply. Although, <clears throat> although I hired a seller of her, and the possession was mine, I ne'er put anything into it but one small pipe of wine. This fair maid being ripe, of which she straight replied again, there lay two more bats at the cellar door, why did you not roll them in? There lay two more bats at the cellar door. Why did you not roll them in? The justice told the vintner plain, if he a tenant be, he must expect to pay the rent and might not sit rent free. <coughs> And when the maid her money got, she put it in her purse and clapped her hand o'er the cellar door and swore it was never the worse. And clapped her hand o'er the cellar door and swore it was never the worse. Thank you. Very nice. Well done. Well done. I have a bit of a frog in my throat here. Sorry. I think it was only a small frog. By the way, I think there's been a little inflation since the five pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that was about real estate, right, Gwyneth? Right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Not sure what type, though. <laughs> it reminds me a little of the brisk young butcher. You know that one, surely. <laughs> then that it has to do with... Uh, you know, barmaids getting the best of Randy Young Rascals. And, and I think you ought to sing that next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suddenly realized that I was singing to five gentlemen, so. <laughs> hey, you stretch matters gentlemen? a bit if you consider <laughs> us gentlemen. <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's a very, a very witty song. Well done. Well, thank you for that. Um, okay. <laughs> Rick, you are up next, sir. Well, I, I enjoy being up and I enjoy reading this poem, um, which 
somehow incorporates um, uh, science, astronomy, um, philosophy. Well, I'll just launch into it. It's it's written by Annie Murphy, who's the husband of uh, Jan Sides, which most of the locals probably know one way or another. Anyway, uh, here it is. It's called Now Hear This, or this, if you just want to be short with it. There was a time when my world was young, a time that rocked the cradle of my youth. There was a time all the songs that I sung spoke through me and manifest the truth. Now comes the time that I need more intelligence to speak of life's exigence with more eloquence. Be here now. Big bang, pow. The power of propulsion, the heart of the expulsion, leaves a vacuum in its wake. Give and take, for heaven's sake, awake. If there is time, then time is now. Ordered by the past and future, accepting limitation is why and how we seal the gash and stitch with suture realities and awareness bubble, bubble joy and bubble trouble. All around your sense expanding, life's a gift that's never ending. Arms outstretching, open handing, understanding, all transcending, sing in harmony the chorus. It's not about us, but it's all for us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sure, why not? I, I had a little internet blackout during that, but uh, that uh, did, did, did everybody else, or was it just you? It was probably just me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you had a blackout. I'll tell you what, if, if they continue, I would suggest a short trip to the hospital. Thank you. Thank you very much. All righty, uh, moving on. It is I, so uh, I will pick it up from here. The, um, I, I had probably to... got a little warning on the screen saying uh, flute player may be unstable, you know. Ah, uh, what, what do you mean, maybe? Come on. The... Uh, I had the great pleasure last night of playing in a, a seven-piece band to a live audience in Austin with a, a full house at the Green Mesquite. It was just a wonderful thing. Well, that's pretty good. I'd hate that you play to a dead audience. We have done that too, uh, Rick. It's, uh, it goes with the, goes with the trade there. But, uh, all right, and without any further interruptions, I will begin. So. I've done this one before. It's a uh, it's a multimedia presentation. It has a little flute, a whistle. It has some spoken word, and it has a uh, the electric acoustic uh, guitar lily feature. So, so here we go. It's uh, Utah Phillips wrote this song using the words of Thomas Wolfe. It's called Starlight on the Rails. Thomas Wolfe wrote, We walked along a road in Cumberland and stooped because the sky hung down so low. And when we ran away from London, we went by little rivers in a land just big enough. And nowhere that we went was far. The earth and the sky were close and near. And the old hunger returned, the terrible and obscure hunger that haunts and hurts Americans and makes us exiles at home and strangers wherever we go. Oh, I will go up and down the country and back and forth across the country, 
I will go out west where the states are square. I will go to Boise and Helena, Albuquerque and the two Dakotas, and all the unknown places. Brother, have you heard the thunder of the fast express? Have you seen starlight on the rails? I can hear the whistle blowing High and lonesome as can be Tonight the rain is softly falling And it's falling just for me Looking back along the road I've traveled The miles can tell a million tales Each year is like some rolling freight train And it's cold as starlight on the rail I think about my wife and family My house and all the things it means The black smoke trailing out behind me Is like a string of broken dreams Looking back along the road I've traveled the mouse can tell a million tales Each year is like some rolling freight train It's cold as starlight on the rail Now if you live out on the highway You're like a clock that can't tell time And if you spend your life just rambling You're like a song that doesn't rhyme Looking back along the road I've traveled The miles can tell a million tales each year is like some rolling freight train It's cold as starlight on the rail Each year is like some rolling freight train It's cold as starlight on the rail Well delivered, well delivered, young man. Yeah, I really like the combination of the poetry. And and the, the Gidalele is sounds uh, it's sort of harp like. This. It is. It's it's that it's that up those upper strings sing nicely, so but thank you. And we've been round the circle or the square or the rectangle or whatever the shape is that uh, <laughs> but we call it a I think it's a hexagon. I believe it is, but we're back at the top again. So it's David. Right. Uh, I think it would be best if I switched places with um, Terry. Uh, for various reasons, I'm probably going to be interrupted if I were to start my song now. So if Terry can go and then me, that would probably work out better. Is all right? We're very flexible here. Very all yours. All right. That's, I'm a little surprised. You'll have to give me a second to get my harpsichord in place here. 
do. Oops. Well, this is a little song by Pete Seeger who, uh, that I got from his, uh, uh, well, I got the first version from uh, the, the Goofing Off Suite, which is uh, one of my all-time favorite albums of any kind by anybody. And then after that, he recorded that, there were some other versions of it around, and so I've incorporated some from those. And, uh, you know, Empty Pockets Blues had an air of authenticity because when he recorded Roofing Off Sweet, um, all those guys were really broke. I mean, they recorded in Mo Ash's uh, apartment and <laughs> it wasn't big time music industry yet. pocket full of money, never had a ruby red ring, all I ever had was you, babe, to sit and listen to me sing, I've got those blues, I got them empty pocket blues. full of money never had a big Cadillac all I ever had was you babe and that's a fact I got the blues I got the empty pocket so long a big dollar bill looks as big as a wind of shade oh some say the blues is sorrowful some say the blues is sad but when I sing my blues to you it comes out feeling glad
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a sweet little song? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of jazz, and but not quite. <laughs> it's appropriate very singer, very peaceful. It's appropriate singer. to play on that guitar, which you got for almost no money and yeah, didn't even right. have that. <laughs> and one of my empty pockets blues fade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, uh, David, if you if you're back in the saddle. All right. So this is another poem set to music to be a song, and that's something that is done all the time. But I take the lack of originality one step further by choosing a traditional tune to go with it. So it's either by my principles of shunning originality at all cost or sheer laziness, your, your call. It's by Emily Dickinson and it's called Because I Could Not Stop for Death. And the tune is the well-known Leaving of Liverpool. I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure to for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain. We passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us for own, for the dews drew quivering and chill. For only gossamer my gown, my tippet only till. We passed before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, to centuries and yet feel shorter than the day. I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity. Again, Emily, Emily, yay! Yes, we need an Emily fast one day. <laughs> we get every session; it's great. I, I think you could. You ought to think about finishing the last line with the the dead march in soul. You know, <laughs> da, 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 da. Jeff's kiss. Kind of on the nose there. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, very fine. Okay, Tom. Well, this one's dedicated to Gwyneth because, uh, as you all know, England came second in the Eurovision Song Contest, which is a highly important thing in England and Europe. So this is called Eurovision 2022, The Politics of Pop. When young, watching Alba win Eurovision, good, clean bubblegum music reincarnating endlessly, world starts listening to ABBA. They break up, band and relationships in 1984, then resurrect 40 years later with the multimedia Voyage. Australia embraced them, uh, embraced them long before the world discovered these Swedes. I saw them live at the Maya Music Bowl in Melbourne in 1978, full field. Australia's Muriel Wedding 
film featured their music, as did Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, expanding, expanding their gay demographics. Norman Gunston had an ABBA song on his every show, and tribute bands like Bjorn Again still pack out concerts everywhere. And both play and film of Mamma Mia reintroduce ABBA to new young consumers. Voyage will travel the world at the end of 2022, and ABBA will never by choice play live again, not even for a billion dollars, which they were offered. Life is more important than art, and both are more important than money. Long live ABBA, think I, watching the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest with Ukraine politically winning again. Yay! <laughs> Politics! <laughs> Do you think do you think you guys that are singing here could make a little bit of money like this? Uh, we're not Abba, baby. Wow, you're you're not singing music. Let let me tell you the uh, my memory of this. Now, I've hated the Eurovision Song Contest since I was a small boy because to me it was plastic Euro pop and everything. Right. But yeah. when that was held in Ireland many years ago, yeah, they introduced this concept. There was a, like a fifteen minute intermission. Uh, 20, maybe 20 minutes, and I introduced the concept of river dance with yeah. this great music and this great new way of dancing. And it was the most authentic performance art, and it made that plastic Euro <laughs> even more plastic. Yep. <laughs> Contrast. So, anyway. Totally agree. I do remember that. Oh, good man. And it's on the YouTubes if you want to. <laughs> yeah, history, yeah, buffs. <laughs> All right. Thank you for that, Tom. Uh, Gwyneth. Before you go on, uh, could I ask uh, where where this recording is uh, around for posterity? Uh, the YouTube's. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and what's I, it? What's it under? What's what? What is it stored under? What's it yeah, stored? Yeah. Uh, what you need to do is go to uh, the uh, my Zoom channel which is um well it's listed on those emails that you get i can't think of what the, it is the youtube oh, channel is, I will YouTube look it up channel is terry sorrell uh -huh. the youtube channel is terry sorrell it's all yeah, there i think it's terry dot sorrell or, something, or just terry no sorrell. no if you search on terry okay, sorrell on youtube you can find everything if it's in the email, I'll find it. Thanks. Yeah, but go to the channel and everything's there. I'm running uh, as usual behind. Like I don't have the last one up yet. But uh, lately, I had to scramble to keep my video editing up to date. Uh, but but uh, there's a complete it'll all be up of, there presently. There's a library of 150 years of terrorist songs on there that you can. Uh, That's wonderful. How many do you write? Yeah, right. and there's there's also there's also uh, I have a couple of websites. One is Terry Songs dot net, and uh, then if you put uh, I think lyrics dot Terry Songs dot net, I, uh, you'll I get my uh, you get my sheet application. If you would put that on an email or a chat, that might be easier to uh, retain. Yeah, actually, uh, we'll give you a URL where you can get all of those URLs, okay? <laughs> Clever. Thank you. And with no further ado, Gwyneth. Um, this is Longer Growing, which is theoretically the version that Steel I Span used to sing, but I think in the years that I've sung it, it's probably changed quite, <laughs> quite a lot. As I was a walking by yonder church wall, I saw four and twenty young men a playing at the ball. I asked for my own true love, but they wouldn't let him come, for they said the boy was young. But a growing. Oh, Father, dearest Father, you've done to me much wrong. You've tied me to a boy when you know he is too young. But he will make a lord for you go to wait upon and a lady you will be while he 
is growing. We'll send him to college for one year or two, and maybe in time the boy will do for you. I'll buy you white ribbons to tie around his waist for to let the ladies know that he's married. The trees they do grow high and the leaves they do grow green. The day is past and gone, my love, that you and I have seen. It's on a cold winter's night that I must lie alone, for the bonny boy is young, but to grow in. At the age of six, oh sorry, at the age of sixteen, he was a married man. And at the age of seventeen, the father to a son. And at the age of eighteen, his grave it did grow green. Cruel death had put an end to his growing. Thank you. Fine song and a fine story. Very sad. Oh, always in, sad. I always enjoyed you and McCall's version of that. Uh, hmm. Me bonny laddies lying, lying, a growing. My favorite was Lizzie Higgins. Yeah. Your, your, your daughter does a nice version of that one too, as I recall. Slightly different tune, but uh, yeah. yeah. It's a nice sobering song. But he died young, so it's fairly short, at least. <laughs> short I life, haven't right? yet begun to drink, so sobering is not among my... Yeah, well, we need the sobering songs to sort of balance out the drinking songs. <laughs> or we'd all fall over. I'll drink to that. <laughs> moderation yeah, my... in all things, including moderation. All right. At one, po at one point, my daughter and I were doing that as a conversation song. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, but then Zoom happened, and she lives a couple hundred miles away from me now, so it's <laughs> we yeah. both do it individually instead. It's, it's not the Actually, same, is it? No. Conversation songs sometimes work fine on Zoom. Yeah, we have we have done it on Zoom, but we used to do it together, a sort of in person, because she lived with me. But um, now now she doesn't. So yeah, Lynn Phipps and a friend who's in the United States do. Yeah a really marvelous job of those kinds of call and response discussion songs. All right. Very good. Uh, Rick, you're up next, sir. Well, I will, I will uh, give you a poem here again, not by me, which I guess is better. Uh, it's by my friend Annie Benjamin, who is a wonderful flautist, by the way, if you've never heard her. Um, it's called Breath. Here, the first of many days in this new reality, how do I take my first breaths? Do I stand beneath Orion's starry minions, inhaling the icy air of cold beginnings and dark nights in a time of uncertainty and fear? Should I whirl and dance with extended arms akimbo and emulate barren trees this night? naked and beautiful as they become one with the uncontrollable forces of wind and inevitability. If I sit still with open eyes, listening to the sounds of the heartbeat cadence, can I become a rhythm of peace, love, of ultimate acceptance? Here, the first of many days in this new reality, how do I take my first breath? Yeah. All right. 
Interesting, interesting choice, interesting choice. Well, I'm going to follow that up with a, a very depressing song of my own. No, I didn't write it, but uh, uh, it's about, it's a medical song. And uh, the placement of the song is in between Lock Hospital and the streets of Laredo. It's called The Pillars of White Mercury. And there was a time uh, in the 18th century when the Pills of White Mercury were, was the miracle cure for anything that ailed you. It was used as a purgative, purgative to uh, in the morning, in, in the morning when you got going, and it was a, it was used for babies when they were teething, believe it or not. But it was basically mercury, so it didn't do you much good in the long term. But here's a song called Pills of White Mercury. As I was a walking by the banks of the Yugi, come, my dear fellow. And a story I will tell I spied a dear comrade All dressed in white flannel Dressed in white flannel And cruel was his fate The mercury was beating The limestone was reeking His tongue all inflamed Hung over his chin With a hole in his bosom His teeth were closing luck to the girl that gave him the phlegm. And had she but told me, oh, when she dishonoured me, had she but told me of it in time, I might have been cured by those pills of white mercury. But now I'm a young man cut down in my prime. My parents, they warned me, and oft times they chided With those young flash girls do not sport and play But I never listened, no, I never heeded I just carried on in my own wicked way And had she but told me, oh, when she dishonoured me had she but told me of it in time I might have been cured by those pills of white mercury But now I'm a young man cut down in my prime It was down on the corner two flash girls were talking One to the other did whisper and say there goes that young man who once was so jolly But now for his sins his poor body must pay And had she but told me, oh, when she dishonoured me Had she but told me of it in time I might have been cured by those pills of white mercury But now I'm a young man cut down in Doctor, dear doctor, before your departure Take all of these bottles of mercury away And send for the minister to say a prayer for me Then you can lay my poor body in the clay Now get you six fellows to carry my coffin Six pretty fair maids to bear up my pall and give each of them there a bunch of red roses So when they pass by me they'll not know the smell Oh doctor, dear doctor, they dishonoured me Had she but told me of it in time I might have been cured by those pills of white mercury now I'm a young man cut down in my prime And had she but told me all oh, when she dishonoured me Had she but told me of it in time I might have been cured by those pills of white mercury Now I'm a young man cut down in my prime Thank you.
I think somebody forgot to cut you down. That was charming. I haven't reached my primate. I thought you were a primate. I'm a late developer. That's all I can tell you. All right. Gee. Okay. Uh, we're back at the top. Splendid. It's David. Well, we seem to have gotten on a, a, a cycle of songs about death since I did the Emily Dickinson one. So, uh, not to uh, break the flow, here's uh, one of my favorite songs about death. It's called Death and the Lady, and it's, uh, I believe, an English song, but it's crossed the Atlantic, and it's known in the States as O oh, death or a conversation with death. Slightly altered, but uh, same basic song. And it starts out, as many songs do, as I walked out one morning in May. So since it's May, here you go. out one morning May the birds did sing and the lambs did play the birds did sing and the lambs did play I met an old man I met an old man by the way his head was bald and his beard was gray his coat was of the myrtle shade i asked him what strange country man or what strange place or what strange place he did belong my name is death cannot you see Lords, dukes, and ladies bow down to me, and you are one of those branches three. And you, fair maid, and you, fair maid, must come with me. I'll give you gold and jewels rare. I'll give you costly robes to wear. I'll give you all my wealth in store. If you'll let me live, if you'll let me live a few years more. Fair lady, lay your robes aside. No longer glory in your pride And now, sweet mate, make no long delay Your time is come, your time is come And you must away Not long after this fair maid died, right on my tomb the lady cried, Here lies a poor distressed maid, whom death now lately, whom death now lately hath betrayed. I mean, remind him of, of Ralph Stanley's uh, Oh Death. Uh, the, exactly. Yeah, very uh, related on, song, he, yeah. You can't outrun the, the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, me? All right. 
So, Terry, you can either take us further in the hole or take us out. No, no I'm, going to, I'm going to shift tracks to another song cycle that was suggested by Gwen, which is the, as I said, the, uh, the, the Buxom Barmaid Gets the Best of the Randy Rascal cycle. And all of the songs in the song cycle have a verse about she, he asked for a candle to light his way to bed and a pillow to rest his weary head. And you know that uh, any, any young English woman who falls for that line has not listened to the folk tradition because <laughs> she would know. So let's see if I can do this one I haven't done in a long time, and I'm not sure I remember even what key I sing it in, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, this is the 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 the, uh, the the buxom barmaid gets the best of the brisk young butcher. <laughs> Can't extend that alliteration out too far, but. Old and placed it on his knee. Well, this 
butcher's at. Yes, butcher's at like one amazing at the child and stare. When he, when the joke he did find out how he did stamp and swear. She said, kind sir, it is your own. Pray do not think it strange. When sovereign you gave to me and see, you got your change. Lively braids, blades. <laughs> Let's try that again. So come all you brisk and lively blades, and pray be ruled by me. Look well unto your bargains for before you them before your money you pay. Or soon, or soon perhaps your folly will give you cause to range. Yeah, there you sport with pretty girls. Be sure to get your chain. Cautionary tale, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I, I told David Kidman, welcome David, that the themes today seem to be sex and death. So, you know. <laughs> so, so just remember, <laughs> when the fellow starts time. talking about candles, it's in not that order. candles that he has in mind. <laughs> it's like that, that, that prescribes the, the human condition, right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, right. Tom. Okay, you are, ready to I think so. Dedicated, dedicated to David and to Gwyneth because they are experiencing this right now because of time, which is the theme to me. Time changes us. London, six hours ahead of Austin. So when September 11th happened, I watched Australian television to see the future, 16 hours ahead of Austin, Texas. Illusion, certain events outside time, shock and awe of accidents, Dream time travels, astral travel, a canker. Once you and your body are divorced, time no longer holds you. Here, everything is a parking meter. Marriages, contracts, promises, used by dated foods. Universe older than us, different time frame, David. Sixth extinction process, poles reversed again. Deja vu, deja vu, Akashic record, space time relationships, prisoners of time outside the cage. Wild birds in thin air peck and salvage a pigeon, life free of waters. Inside the cage, no bird sings except the blues, pining for a bluer sky. But right now, for you, it's a full moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio in the year of the black water tiger. Tonight, we will share a blood rose moon. I am an earth ox, my lucky number 14. Gemini with Aquarius rising. My favorite colors, white, blue, yellow. My meridians, north, south. My crystal pink quartz. By day, I am solar powered. By night, moon bound. Tonight, I will look up with you to the red and orange reflections of sunrise and sunsets. We came from stars to starlight will return. Meanwhile, like that fiery nu nuclear furnace, today we'll burn together once again. Whoopee! You're already there, Dave. It's happening for you right now. There's some lava behind me. <clears throat> A little bit of time for you. Hey, good one, Tom. Thanks, Dave. Oh, yeah. Great. Always good. <clears throat> All right, sorry, I, was, I made a, a great joke there, but I was muted. So I said it again, Rick, that's very magma manimous of you there. So. Oh, <laughs> right. yes. Right. Oh, I, always try to, I always try to go with the flow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Love you than me. I, oh, even worse. I, I love it when you do that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we love you too. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the salt and battery, I believe you have there. So anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we better move on here. Uh, Very magnanimous of you. <laughs> Gwyneth, I, get us out, get us I out should of think here. so. <laughs> get us out of here. So. Um, this is a shanty. Oh, where are you going, my pretty maid? 
But we're bound for the Raya Grand. Then away, love, away. Away for Raya. So fare you well, my bonny young girl. For we're bound for the Raya Grand. Oh, may I go with you, my pretty maid. Oh, Raya. You're kindly welcome, sir, she said, but we're bound for the Raya Grand. Then away, love, away. Away for Raya. So fare you well, my bonny young girl, for we're bound for the Raya Grand. Oh, what is your father, my pretty maid? Oh, Ryo. my father's a farmer, sir, she said, but we're bound for the Rio Grand, then away, love, away, away for Rio. so fare you well, my bonny young girl, for we're bound for the Rio Grand. Oh, pray, will you marry me, my pretty maid? Oh, Ryo, I will if you wish, kind sir, she said, but we're bound for the Rio Grand. Then away, love, away. Away for Ryo, so fare you well, my bonny young girl, for we're bound for the Raya Grand. Oh, what is your fortune, my pretty maid? Oh, Raya, my face is my fortune, sir, she said, but we're bound for the Raya Grand. Then away, love, away. Away for Raya. So fare you well, my bonny young girl, for we're bound for the Raya Grand. Oh, then I can't marry you, my pretty maid. Oh, Raya. Oh, nobody asked you, sir, she said, but we're bound for the Raya Grand. Then away, love, away. Away for Raya. So fare you well, my bonny young girl, for we're bound for the Raya Grand. Thank you. Great. Yeah, that's got some verses that I hadn't heard before. Perry, I sent you a message on the side in the chat. If you get oh, okay. to respond to it, thank okay, you. I shall look. All right, that was great. Thank you. That got us out of the, uh, the sex and death. We just had sail. We just had sailing. <laughs> anyway, which is probably anyway. We won't go further on that one. That was great, though. Thank you. Uh, Rick, you are up, sir. Thank you, Doug. Why, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not sure what I'm thinking. <laughs> <clears throat> Terry, you didn't mute. Oh, sorry. You're he heeing back there. <laughs> uh, this is by, uh, again, not by me, it's by Kurt Vile. September Song is the name of it. When I was a young man courting the girls, I played me a waiting game. If a maid refused me with tossing curls, I'd let the old earth take a couple of whirls while I plied her with tears in lieu of pearls. And as time came around, she came my way. As time came around, she came. When you meet with young girls early in the spring, you court them in song and rhyme. They answer with words in a clover ring, but if you could examine the goods they bring, they have little to offer but the songs they sing and a plentiful waste of time of day, a plentiful waste of time. 
well, it's a long, long while from May to December, but the days grow short when you reach September. When the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame, one hasn't got time for the waiting game. Oh, the days dwindle down to a precious few, September, November, and these few precious days I'll spend with you, these precious days I'll spend with you. Thank you. That, that's Mac, Maxwell Anderson, isn't it? Rick? Maxwell Anderson and Kurt Weill. Kurt Weill. So you, you need to unmute. You need to what unmute. I had, what I had was Kurt Weill, so I don't you know. Who wrote the music? Yeah. Ah. yeah. Kurt Weill wrote the music. Maxwell Anderson wrote the words. Yeah. He, uh, that, that was a great combo. They did some good songs. Fabulous combo, that. Yeah, really. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. I'm looking forward to September now. It's so bloody hot here in August, so early. <laughs> Oi. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> David Kay, David Kidman, you are up, sir. Welcome. Right, thanks. It's great to be back again, uh, Stuart. Um, if it, does, it feels like a month in some ways, and it doesn't in others. Uh, but it is a month. It's May. And that's a month, isn't it? Whereas September's also a month. And I'll probably be singing that one myself in September, if I'm still here. Uh, in the meantime, death. The subject of death. And this is a song I can sing because a certain person that doesn't like it isn't here. <laughs> Gwyneth, I think, will probably know who I mean. Uh, sadly, because it's a great song. Um... The Last of the Great Whales by Andy Barnes, and you probably know it. My soul has been torn from me, and I am bleeding. My heart, it has been rent, and I am crying for the beauty around me. Bells, and I am screaming. I am the last of the great whales, and I am dying. Last night I heard the cry of my last companion. The roar of the harpoon gun, and then I was alone. I reflected on days gone by, when we were thousands. For I know I soon must die, the last Leviathan. This morning the sun did rise, crimson in the north sky. The ice was the colour of blood, and the wind did sigh. I rose to take a breath, it was my last one. From the gun came the roar of death. And now I am gone. And ever since time began, we have been haunted. Through the oceans that were our home, we have been hunted. From Eskimos in canoes to the mighty whalers, still you ignored our plea. None came to save us. For now that we are no more, there's no more hunting. 
the big fella is now gone. There is no use lamenting. What race is next in line? All for the slaughter. The elephant or the seal? Or your sons and daughters? For my soul has been torn from me. And I am bleeding. My heart, it has been rent. And I am crying. For the beauty around me pales. And I am screaming. I am the last of the great whales and I am dying Andy Barnes Very good and it's, it's, you know, the background, it's not that old a song, is it? It's last 20 years, I think. Written in 1983, would you believe? So it's nearly 40, 40 years. years. Incredible, isn't it? It is. Plus, plus ça change, unfortunately. <laughs> Indeed. Um, but it, it is so sad. It took me ages before I could bear to sing it. It's just such a powerful song. Yeah. Good one. Thank you yeah. for that. All right, it is it is my turn. So I I've, I've done this one before, but I'll do it again then. I mentioned this for my fellow Brits that one of the beauties of living in Texas is you experience when it rains, it can actually be warm. You can actually have warm rain. It's like what? I never knew that was possible. So, but this is a song by John Prine that Josh Ritter kind of made his own. Uh, he, he kind of convinced John to sing it differently. But John Prime is a great contemporary so folk song, contemporary songwriter. And he was, he was a, a funny guy who would always put weird lines or puns in his songs. <clears throat> and this one has a, a great line that says, you could die in the living room, which it took me a long time to, to realize that that was even a pun, and then, then I, anyway, it's a great song. It has death in it, it has rain in it. <clears throat> it's called My Mexican Home. Got so hot last night, I swear, couldn't hardly breathe. It lightning burned the sky like alcohol. Sat on the porch without my shoes, and I watched the cars roll by as the headlights raced to the corner of the kitchen wall. Mama dear, your boy is here Far across the sea Waiting for that sacred call That burns inside of me And I feel a storm all wet and warm Not ten miles away approaching my Mexican home.
My God, I cried, it's so hot inside, you could die in the living room. Take the fan from the window, pop the door back with a broom. The cuckoo clock has died of shock, and the windows feel no pain. There's another one. The air's as still as the throttle on a funeral train. Mama dear, your boy is here, far across the sea, waiting for that sacred core that burns inside of me, and I feel a storm, oh, wet and warm, not ten miles away, approaching a Mexican My father died on the porch outside on an August afternoon. I sipped bourbon and cried with a friend by the light of the moon. So it's hurry, hurry, step right up. It's a matter of life or death. Sun's going down and the moon's just holding its breath. Mama dear, your boy is here, far across the sea, waiting for that sacred core that burns inside of me. And I feel a storm, oh, wet and warm, not ten miles away, approaching my Mexican home. Approaching my Mexican home. Approaching my Mexican home. Mm -hmm. They get a lady. On the bagpipes there. All right. Uh, it is uh, back to the top to Terry. We're halfway through the three hours. Ha ha. I think David's in line before me. He skipped. I'm turn. sorry. I told you. The brain goes after <laughs> the brain. So this. Uh, once I get started on a theme, it's hard for me to uh, deviate. So here's another song uh, in a similar vein. It's an American song, first recorded, I believe, by a man named Doc Boggs. And uh, it was recorded under the title of The Country Blues. Me a 
play good people And my mama, she told me more I didn't quit my rowdy way I'd have trouble at my door But I would not listen to my mama good people And that's why I'm here to in my sweet life dollars won't pay my fine Poor liquor has surrounded my body Poor boy Pretty women are troubling my mind Give me cornbread when I'm hungry People Rye whiskey when I'm dry Pretty women are standing So rounder go down And when I'm dead and buried people And my pale face is turned to the sun You can stand around and wonder woman And think on the way that you With a driving banjo rhythm. As, as it should be. <laughs> yeah, he drives his banjo to the grocery store. And, oh. And I, I hear it's a hybrid, but. Ah. Yeah, he's got a four door banjo. <laughs> that was he's, great. He's got a seven string banjo, I know that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Uh, okay, oh, back to sanity. Terry, sorry, my sanity, not. <laughs> not my. Oh, I'm not shut up now, speaking so. of insanity, my harmonica racks have gotten entangled. <laughs> okay, I think it's this one. Well, I think they're going to rack and ruin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're all ruined. You all should be ruined. Wrong one. Sorry, folks. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is a, this is a well-known cowboy song, but it's got some rather uh, unique verses that I got from Mike Seeger and a cattle call that I got from Tex Ritter's version. Tell you about my troubles on the old Chisholm Trail. Come a cow cat, come a whoop a lie, you become a TIA, come a whoop a lie, you buy. We started up the trail October 23rd, started up the trail with the two you heard. Come a whoop a lie, you 
With a ten dollar horse and a forty dollar saddle, I'll make my living punching Texas cattle. Come a whoop a la yippee, come a tia. Whoop a la yippee. It's cloudy in the western, it looks like rain, and my dog gone slickers in a butt wagon again. Come a whoop a la yippee. It's tia. Come a whoop a la yippee. He needs a slicker to not get too hot. Yeah, the, those warm Texas rains are much like New England. They make you feel like a lobster in a pot. It's, <laughs> I went to draw my money and I went into town for to see my honey. Got my whoop and lie, yippee, come a T-I-A, whoop and lie, yippee, But my honey wouldn't see me and she's throwed me down so I got drunk and I shot up the town and come a whoop and lie yep it come a CIA whoop and lie yep IA court and we find me 10 so I went so I paid them 20 and I went back again come a whoop a lie yippee come a T-I-A whoop a lie yippee well it took me to court and they throw me in jail and I sent to the boss for to go my bail come a whoop a lie yippee come a T-I-A come a whoop a lie yippee well, now I'm back at work, and ain't no joke. I'm a darn good cowboy when I'm broke. I'm a whoop a la yippee like a D-I-A. I'm a whoop a la yippee <laughs> With my feet in the stirrup and my in my seat in the sky, I'm going to punch cattle in the sweet by and by. See, we had to get the death uh, theme in here. So that's that's my contribution. We're going to punch cattle in the sweet by and by. Come a whoop a la yippee, come a T-I-A. Come a whoop a la yippee. So I wanted, I wanted to say oh, Rick, yeah. Rick was asking about the lyrics application, which is one of the links on the page that I sent you. And it's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's not a very sophisticated web application because I just did it for my own convenience so that I would have a way to display lyrics as a cheat sheet. So I'm not sure what's confusing about it, Rick, but if you click the little musical note at the top of the page, you'll get a list of the songs, and you can uh, click any one of those. And I uh, have a way of picking out groups of them and putting them in a set, which you have to log in to do. And I don't have login stuff going on for anybody but myself. But, <laughs> but the future version will be much more sophisticated. Oh, I thought it would do something like scrolling or that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, it scrolls when you scroll it. <laughs> I use it. I use it with a foot pedal uh, that basically just works like a keyboard with one key, the down arrow and the up arrow, and and so I can scroll it. I, I can do foot scroll. Oh, okay, okay. So you've got a you've got a, a separate thing that works with it. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's simply a web page. So, you know, when you press the down arrow key, and I'll, I'll show you here. Well, I think I understand now. No problem. Yeah. Or, to, or to reverse the vernacular, uh, you're welcome. Can we so, make this as a side baba? I don't. Sure. Side baba? We're, we're getting into geek, geek, geek territory. Hey. 
I'm it, I'm I'm almost done. Okay. Be patient here, you know. So this is my little foot pedal, and all it does is it's got a Bluetooth thing, and it tells it to scroll. So that was that. Rick asked about it, but I did want to mention that uh, if you missed the last email, there have been some changes. One of which is that this same link, the same link that you used for. Uh, uh, Stone Soup session works on all the sessions, and the other links that were previously used for those sessions don't work at all. So keep this link, and we have one hosted Saturday session on the fourth Saturday, Terry Song Circle, and all the rest of the Saturdays we decide just to keep the line <coughs> open for anybody who wanted to show up and sing and maybe host themselves. Uh, we're looking for a few guest hosts to do those. And of course, the Celtic and the Stone Soup sessions will stay on the same schedule, uh, except that they'll use one link to rule them all, one link to bind them. Mine. Thank you. My ring. Thank you for the universalism in your message there, sir. Thank you. <laughs> so late. One love, one love, baby. Okay, uh, Tom, it's. Uh, yeah, baby. Up. It's your, it's uh, your, as you know, I'm very speaker. grateful. Here we are. I love David Politic taking poetry into the musical world, which is where it's meant to be. I also love the fact that um, sometimes he trespasses upon the bucolics, which I deeply love. I love the Thomas Hardys. I love the Gary Schneiders. And I love the Mary Olivers. So this is dedicated to uh, Gary Schneider, whose birthday, 92nd birthday was last week. Okay. It's called There Are No Rules, Only The Journey. It begins where you are, when all your senses share their secrets, connection to umbilical universe, to everything ever seen, felt, dreamed, touched, tasted, full tilt night bird passion or zen snoring afternoons, learning who was her lover before you, Gary Schneider, Mary Oliver, Kabir, Hassan, Leila, Mirabai, bring out your Heisenberg and Heraclitus. We're going to need every leaf on every tree and every forest to fall simultaneously until we can see what really is embossed in the landscape of our intuited worlds. The loss of species via our displacement, then our losses environmentally, cancers, immune deficiencies, then our children's crusades, Greta Thunberg, Malala, Amanda Gorman, Simone Beals, then the to-do list, which will not be done in our lifetime. Hearing a lone wolf cry in the true wilderness of your own heart. Feeling that fish speared or dolphin snared. Experiencing original silence. Pre-gun, pre-bulldozer. Clearing our auras of falsehoods like progress, civilization. Just to sit by the edge of waters and to listen, blessing the landscape being blessed by wayward waters, soft snow, hard stones, washed by waves that continue without name nor number, invoking half-made shapes and forms, morning mists and fogs, bear dancing in the mask of fears, redeemed, rescued, raised, like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein addressing his creator. Orange, pink, terrestrial lights, rocks, waterfall, electric, dark, ask of stone her secrets, to be obstinate, to persist, to stay, to hear the babble of free-flowing conversations today, as under a mask, distant, burbling, babbling, soft glow moon tonight, pockmark yet perfect, our one and only Moses, doves in a cage of light, shadows leap, salt sweet night swell, gaudy glare, white water pools for the reflected only moon, ghosts of birds still sing brittle wings for cold winds, tell me who walks beside your skin, where eco-poetics defends all elements, Breath flows up ley lines down coastal channels between trees, silver moon paths, grass, stalks, arc of rock, hill of time, be a river winding between these. Thanks for listening. Bucolics, baby. Bucolics. You know, just, to, just to save water, Tom, I'm going to be a river bank. Uh, you're always leaving a deposit. <laughs> I'm not uh, sure about the flow of this conversation. Oh, oh. <laughs> we're, we're getting to a Shakespearean level of word association. A stream of thought here, at least. <laughs> Pretty good. You will find me a grave man tomorrow. Okay. Uh, that's right.
Honey, there we go. I don't uh, know if I can brook any more puns. Oh! You oh, can never so enter off. the same stream of thought twice. Uh, <laughs> all right, God, where are we? Okay, quickly, Gwyneth, help. <laughs> um, well, it's this on is... with the current singer. <laughs> this um, is a May song, but it's originally from the Copper family. To <clears throat> To us on one summer's evening, all in the month of May, down by a flowery garden where Betsy did stray, I overheard a damsel in sorrow to complain. Oh, for her absent lover that plows the raging main. I stepped up to this fair maid and put her in surprise. She owned she did not know me, I being all in disguise. I said, my charming creature, my joy and heart's delight, how far have you to travel this dark and rainy night? Away, kind sir, to the cloudy banks, if you will please to show. Pity a poor girl distracted, for there I have to go. I am in search of a young man, and Johnny is his name. And on the banks of Claudy, I'm told he does remain. If Johnny he was here this night, he would keep me from all harm. But he's in the field of battle, or in his uniform. He is in the field of battle, his foes he will destroy. Like a roaring king of honor, all in the walls of Troy. It was six months or better since my journey left the shore. He's a cruising the wide ocean where the foaming billows roar. He's a cruising the wide ocean for honor or for gain. But I'm told his ship got wrecked all on the coast of Spain. When Betsy heard this dreadful news, she fell into despair in a wringing of her hands and a tearing of her hair. Since Johnny has gone and left me, no man on earth I'll take. Down in some lonesome valley, I'll wander for his sake. Young Johnny, hearing her say so, he could no longer stand. He fell into her arms, crying, Betsy, I'm that man. I am that faithful young man, and whom you thought was slain. And since we met on Claudy Banks, we'll never part again. 
Now Betsy, learning the trick he played, his face she quickly slapped. She stepped away from Johnny, and then she did snap. If a man cannot be honest, then he can sail away. So go back to your ship, my lad, before the end of day. Thank you. <laughs> you made up the last verse. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> David uh, has now heard it living. many, many times, but uh, <laughs> I'm going to hear it yeah. again. <laughs> the perfect squelch. <laughs> yes. Well, why would she ever accept <laughs> Played a trick like that. She thinks he's dead. And he's, oh, no, here I am. Oh, oh hey. It just, it just had to be written, Gwyneth. It just had to be. <laughs> I think there is another last verse on a similar... <laughs> Um, the Plains of Waterloo is a sim is a similar type scenario. Yeah. yeah. Except it it's supposedly you know you're welcome, lovely Willie from the Plains of Waterloo. Yeah. No problem. That way, but that's, I like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was great. That was that. Well, we're that was wonderful. We, we welcome Storm. He's up in a little while. We're going to have Rick, and then David, uh, Kay, and then Storm. So, Rick, take it away, sir. Okay, well, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry this won't be great, but it will at least uh, fill in for whatever should have been here. Uh, this is two poems by me. One of them I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I could not not say because it's called Spring's Circle. Here comes the heat with claws of steel and many a day with calloused feet. Sweat drips from brow while killing weeds out in the garden with future sweet. Calendar flips its pages right straight. No stopping them, flip, flippity, flip. Can't we have some breath of winter still left on a morning so soaked with drip? Fraught days when work is rapidly done before rays of sun pull sweat from face or back. Hard to get to sleep before midnight. It's cool, you know. Short hours to meet days track. Even all will soon forget to think. Winter storm with snow and sleet couldn't stop the drip of sweat today, for weeds will die with slash replete. But wait, there's something I hear inside. The sound of joy and sadness mixed. It must be time for circle of song and on chorus of folk, my attention's fixed. And then there's one that uh, falls in with uh, maybe my background here called the stars. Strewing stars from unclasped hands leads my eyes to whirls of galaxies. When will I ever be through creating, I ask. No one cares on city streets full of taxis. How can I begin to grasp the reason I do this? When will my life get back to something like normal? There's no answer in the street besides swirls of dust. And though I want something to come, it's informal. Will they have tiny points like those on my childhood Christmas tree? Can it be said there will be five or six or 500 of them? Only I can answer what will happen inside this head of mine, blasting out solar systems like digital cities from SIM. Concussion is what they said I had when I, at last I came to. I was struck by the trailer of a failing 18-wheeler, sliding off the main thoroughfare of my fair city like cards from a penny ante poker table dealer. No radio astronomers noticed when the stars began to shine through what were once only clouds of far-flung gas. There are so many stars in the universe's fields that I could literally say to myself, this too shall pass. Cool. Great, great originality there, sir, great. <clears throat> mm. 
All right. Um, the silence, Rick, is people thinking how profound that, that was. It's, we, we, we hear it in terms, the applause is internal, sir. Yeah, when I, when I said it wasn't great, evidently well, everybody no, took me in. I just didn't hear it. <laughs> no, we, uh, no it's, very, it's very good indeed. Um, David Kidman, you're up next, sir. Yeah, thanks. Um, I could continue the theme that started with the death of the great whale. Um, in that I've just remembered there's another whale song that I haven't sung for a while. Uh, the one by Rod Shearman. Last night as I lay sleeping fast is the whale then no more? I dreamt that this had come to pass. Is the big fella gone? Sixty tons of streamlined grace. Is the whale then no more? Has she disappeared from the earth's face? Is the big fella gone? In waters where she made her home, is the whale then no more? Will we never see the fin back roam? Is the big fella gone? And when the cachalot so deep did sound, Is the whale then no more? Has she left the hunting ground? Is the big fella gone? Beneath the waves it echoed long. Is the whale then no more? Will we never hear? The humpback's song is the big fella gone. My Arctic shores in waters chill. Is the whale then no more? Does the mighty blue? Hunts the tiny krill. Is the big fella gone? In eastern seas and waters cold. Is the whale then no more? From tropic shores to the southern pole. Is the big fella gone? Last night as I lay sleeping fast, Is the whale then no more? I dreamt that this had come to pass. Is the big fella gone? Rod Shearman. Do you have a link for that, David? I'll see if I can find one for that you. Was, that was wonderfully sung. Yeah, was very was well really sung, well. David, very well. That's a, not an easy one, that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'd like to see the lyrics of that.
All right, uh, Storm, you're up, sir. Okay. With Willie from the country and Tommy from the town, I used to play when I was young until the sun went down. We'd play a pirate's bold and a villain's black. Yet when I would die, I'd get my life right back. With strange brews and medicines, they'd fix me fine as new. And the only wounds I got from playing war were but a scratch or two. Yet I have grown older now, and now I've fought with men, and still I wish that it weren't so, and I was back to then. No medicine for him in pain, no magic touch to pull the bullet from the thigh, alone upon this darker land, all in this moment die. The stories that I love the best were tales of sailor home unrest. Their stories tall as old oak trees, they that kept them sailing on the seas. Those sunburned men with smiling eyes would boast of how they won their prize. With Frenchie's gold they'd take their ease and live like lords, do what they please. They talked of cannons roaring loud, and smoke so thick it seemed a cloud had settled on the battle scene, hiding death behind a screen. But I know now it wasn't true, and red blood stains the sailor's blue. No ghosty mist can hide away the lesson that I learned that day. I believed what I'd been told about the silver and the gold that lies in wait for boys like me while serving in the King's Navy. I believed what I'd been told and bought the lies that others sold and lost both legs below the knee for serving in the King's Navy. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Hooray, and up she rises. Hooray, and up she rises. Hooray. And up she bloody rises. Back then I thought it such a thing to serve my country and my king. I ran from home to volunteer upon a three-mast privateer. Now I've returned from overseas. There are no daydreams left for me. I curse those men with smiling eyes who took me captive with their lies. A beggar's life is all for me, and all I ever long to be lies lost forever in the grave, far beneath the ocean wave. I still see them every day. Lads hang upon each word they say. I see them, but they don't see me. I am not the one they long to be. Those sunburned men with smiling eyes, their gray beards make them seem so wise. But there's no wisdom to be found when you are six feet underground. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Hooray, and up she rises. Hooray, and up she rises. Hooray, and up she bloody rises.
Awesome. Oh, and there's Lynn. Welcome, Lynn. We'll, we'll give her just a moment. I'm going to sing, and then mm -hmm. you, you're right after me, Lynn. So you, you have a little, little prayer. I'm doing a short song here, so you have a little time. Uh, this, uh, when I was uh, 16 in 1967, I, my first LP I bought was a Donovan LP, and this fairly obscure song was on it. Um, it's called The Isle of Islay. How high the girls fly, oh, I lay. How sad the farm lad deep in play. Felt like a grain of your sand. Well, the sheep spell music may roving the cliff where fancy takes felt like a tide left me How blessed the forest with bird song. How neat the cut peat laid so long. Felt like a seed on your land. How high the gods fly o'er I lay How sad the farm lad deep in play Felt like a grain of your sand Felt like a grain of your Love it. Long live Donovan. Long live Donovan. <laughs> Just from a flower to a garden. I think it was smoking something at the time. But it's great song. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> yes, definitely bananas. Bananas. Yeah, yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow. You got yellow, mellow, yellow. All right, Lynn. Stop this madness. Um, I I'm going to do something quite unexpected for me. <clears throat> So I'm going to have two for the price of one. I'm going to sing a shanty that um, references May, because it is still May. I know it's still May because it's my birthday month, so there you go. Uh, so it's important, of course. Um, and it's, it's quite cheerful. So I don't know what's come over me, really. Um, I know, I know, I know. Um, a, hot, a hot or indeed cold compresses all around. Um, but anyway, nobody dies in this one. Nobody drowns. And uh, yeah, I don't really know why I'm singing it, except I thought it was you know, good to you know, branch out. So off we go. Rosabella Shanty. One Monday morning in the month of May, one Monday morning in the month of May, I thought I heard the old man say, the Rosabella sails today. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board right down to board the salt sea Rosabella. She's a deep water ship with a deep water crew. She's a deep water ship with a deep water crew. We can stick by the coast, but we're damned if we do aboard the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board, right down to board, the salt sea Rosabella. Them bowery girls, they make me grieve. Them bowery girls, they make me grieve. 
They took my money and they make me leave aboard the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board right down to board the salt sea Rosabella. Around Cape Horn in the month of May, around Cape Horn in the month of May, around Cape Horn is a damned long way aboard the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board the Rosabella. We're going on board right down to board the salt sea Rosabella. There you go. Ah, those New York girls. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, variations of the words, and on which case, you know, you know about variations. But um, I always need to point out at this point that I am one of the few people you know who's been round Cape Horn three times. Oh. Only one of them was a choice. And it wasn't the month of May. It was definitely the month of February and the month of March. And it was very rough. As it as befits its reputation, it was very rough each time. But three times is enough for a one woman's lifetime. <laughs> so how is it that you so. went involuntarily? Were you press ganged? Yeah, I was definitely press ganged. <laughs> so I, I was I was in the Antarctica um on the holiday of lifetime with, with my other half for the holiday of lifetime, just as COVID swept the world. And so we weren't, so we had to go back. Um, then we wandered the Southern Oceans. You know, we could write a song about it. Um, and and ran, um, I had to avoid um, Chilean guns um, to go a long way around, right out far to sea. Um, and finally went back to the Falkland Islands, which I'd already been to. Um, Cause I kept saying, well, you know, the Falkland Islands would actually, you know, they will run us home. Um, and other people can get home from, from Britain you know, but um, no, no country at that stage in South America would would take us. So, yeah. So we went backwards and forwards past Cape Horn, <laughs> enjoying our views, but not being able to land. Apparently, one time in ten you can land at Cape Horn, and it wasn't one of the one in ten times. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Sound like you had some adventures. You should. Right yeah, that just got more and more remarkable, yeah. <laughs> as, as these sea stories do. You know? <laughs> I'm afraid it's all it's all it's all true. Um, and I, I even had the, the, the fun of the extra week at sea and organizing another ship's concert um, where the sea was so rough. The, and they said, we, we know you're all having a fantastic time in the bar, but you now all need to lie down because we're getting this wall of water. <laughs> oh, that sounds like quite, quite the gig. OK. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... And why, why exactly were you dodging the Navy's guns? I better never tell you the story. But we did have to. That's uh, so Bre breaking you... Chilean law. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to leave it there. Leave you hanging. Leave you hanging there with a cliffhanger, as it were, uh, uh, with the chili story. Now, the um, let's go with David at the top there. Thank you, Stuart. Just can't get seem to get away from these songs about death. Uh, this one. I have to thank Rick Herndon for challenging me to set this one. It's uh, by William Butler Yeats. It's called An Irish Airman Foresees His Death. And for context, I don't believe Ireland as such has ever had an Air Force. This was uh, about the time during World War I when Ireland was still a part of the United Kingdom and thus was involved in the hostilities. And so uh, this is about the son of a dear friend of his who was in fact killed in aerial combat during that war. The tune I've chosen is that wonderful old Irish air, Tomsin Chala, I'm Asleep.
among the clouds above. Those that I fight, I do not hate. Those that I guard, I do not love. My country is guilt art and cross. My country men killed art and spore. No likely end could bring them laws or leave them happier than before. of delight drove to this tumult in the clouds I balanced all brought all to mind the years to come seemed waste of a waste of breath the years behind in balance with this life this I hadn't thought of it before, but that low pitched banjo has much the flavor of an ode or a or a lute. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, like definitely. There's a guy that uh, was a visiting professor at UT for a number of years from uh, somewhere over in Africa or the Far East, or the Near East. And uh, I used to go to his concerts every opportunity I had. I loved that instrument. Hamza El Dean. That's oh, yes. the one. That's the guy. Oh, he's tremendous. Yes. I love being compared to Hamza El Dean. <laughs> yeah, really. Especially as a banjo player. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But it all comes full circle. All comes full yeah, circle. you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> All right, okay. Terry. Uh, Me, okay. David, don't fret. Okay, you know, these, these sessions that go a long time and have relatively few participants sort of uh, make my repertoire run thin. <laughs> so I hadn't played this in a good while, so bear with me. But I figured I better do a May song before it's June, you know. So this is a May song, I guess. get there before the end of the song, I promise. <laughs> Charming maid, just at the dawning of the day, I met with a 
charming me. Good morning to you, Willie said I. Good morning to you. Now the maid replied, kind sir, she cried, I've lost me spotted cow. The maid replied, kind sir, she cried, I've lost me spotted cow. No longer weep, no longer mourn, your cow's not lost me, dear. Oh, I saw her down in yonder grove, come loving, I'll show you where. Oh, I saw her down in yonder grove, come loving, I'll show you where. Must confess you're very kind. I thank you, sir, said she. We will be sure her there to find. Come, sweetheart, come with me. We will be sure her there to find. Come, sweetheart, come with me. And in the grove they spent their day, they thought it might pass too soon. At night they homeward went their way, while brightly shone the moon. At, at night they homeward, homeward bent their way, while brightly shone the moon. Now if he should cross the flowery dale, or go to view the plough, she comes and calls him gentle swain, I've lost my spotted cow. She comes and calls him gentle swain, I've lost my spotted cow. Nice, but it's now well done. Nice, nice rustic rhythm you had there. Bucolic. Uh, bucolic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bucolic banjo, that's my specialty. <laughs> Excellent. Talking of pastoral, Tom. Yeah, well, we're in Austin, Texas, and the two good things about Austin, Texas are, of course, Barton Springs and Zilker Park, the water and the trees. And both of them are being ruined almost totally. The, the other night I did a reading for SOS to try and save what's left of the springs. But Zilker Park has been sold out, as you know, to ACL, which is not Austin Sea Limits. It's imported rap artists from New York and Las Vegas. So this is a petition to all the people who don't come or know about Austin and how it's so important to activate through music and poetry. Save Zilker Park from us. Before it had a name, Zilka Park was wilderness. No car parks, no convenience, no human pollution, apart from bird scat and animal droppings. Tribes came, bathed in the springs, camped and moved on. So 100% of Zilka Park was wild once and can be rewilded again. The only problem is us. We have permanently settled in and will not move on. Vested interests with concessions 
profit from polluting park use. The only question is, why would we continue to let them? Zilka Park is not a car park. It is not a concert venue. It's a spark of green in an overpopulated urban setting. It's used as our only central park, our Hollywood Bowl, our F1 ACL concert abuse. All of Zilka Park can be rewilded, but you will not allow this. Property and power versus people and passive uses. Let Zilka Park breathe. Let the green grow free because it was 30 years ago today, SOS saved Barton Springs to play up against Freeport McMoran. Hundreds spoke at City Hall and voted down development that would have ruined our only watershed. Of course, Barton Springs is still threatened. Under the blood flower moon, we gathered, but we are 30 years older now. One million other strangers drink our waters now. They know little of impervious cover nor fragility of watersheds. They come for Tesla. What happened to save their springs is unknown to them. It is as if we begin again. New water spring, new generations needed to embrace activism. But we all knew each other then. New stories need be written. Can you start singing? I think I can start. Singing? Yes. <laughs> We want the springs to survive. We want Zilka Park to come alive, you know, <laughs> and get rid, of, get rid of those commercial so what, concerts. So what can we compare Zilker Park that would uh, give English folk a sense of what we're talking uh, about? I guess I Hyde Park, Hyde Park or um, Hyde Sherwood Park. Forest. Sherwood Forest. No, Hyde Park. Yeah, Hyde Park. You're right. Hyde Park. Okay. It's in the middle of an urban centre. So. Yeah. Um, all right, that was good, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Gwyneth, it's your turn. Right, um, this is Botany Bay. Farewell to old England forever. Farewell to my old past as well. Farewell to the well-known old bailey, where I once used to look such a swell. Singing to a liar, a liar to tea. Singing to a liar, a liar. Singing to a liar, a liar to tea. For we're bound for the botany bay. Is the captain as is our commander? There's the boatswain and all the ship's crew. There's the first and the second class passengers. Knows what we poor convicts go through. Taint leaving old England, we cares about. Yank cause we misspells what we knows. But because all we light finger gentry hops around with a log on our toes, singing to a liar, a liar to tea, singing to a liar, a liar, singing to a liar, a liar to tea, for we're bound for Botany Bay. Oh, had I the wings of a turtle dove, I soar on my pinions so high, slap band to the arms of my Polly love, and in her sweet presence I'd die, singing to a liar, a liar to tea, singing to a liar, a liar. Singing to a liar, a liar to tea, for we're bound for Botany Bay. Now all you young dookies and duchesses, take a warning from what I've to say. Mind all is your own that you touch us, or you'll find us in Botany Bay. 
Singing to a liar, a liar to tea. Singing to a liar, a liar. Singing to a liar, a liar to tea. For a pound for botany pain. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always love that admonition yeah. to the beaches and dookies and, and duchesses. Make sure time. it's your own that you touchesses. Rhymes <laughs> with duchesses. It's just a perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that botany bay behind you, David? No. David K. David uh, uh, that's uh, that's Singlin, I think. Well, I know it's obviously not much botany back there. Sorry, oh. I missed that. I I was asking if that was Botany Bay behind you, but oh, then I no, said no, there no. was not much botany back there. No, I'm afraid not. It's it's Cape Clear on the West Cork coast in oh. Ireland. Okay. All right, cool. It's uh, Rick, you're up, sir. I am. I'm always up. Um, <clears throat> this is this is again one uh, by someone else, so I can't be accused of doing bad things. It's by a fellow named J. O. Morgan. Is he frozen? Looks like he may be. Uh, yeah. uh, he's a dandy in aspic right now. So. <laughs> oh, no. Am I frozen? Yeah. You're, you're okay for now. a while, yes. He's back now. now. Start over. Okay. We used to think the universe was made of tiny, invisible pinpoints of energy, jostling and tumbling and buzzing together. And so by whatever particular arrangement they took, and the way in which they bounced off one another, all sorts of physical matter could be produced. Later, we found the universe, an actual fact, is made of tiny invisible threads of incredible length, and in the same way a violin string changes pitch and touched at points along its measured span, so all these interweaving loops and knots, this tangle of quantum spaghetti, as it flexes and line crosses line, so it resonates throughout the whole bundle, a complex vibratory code that defines any... Oh, I'm afraid the old bandwidth devil has got him again. I zoom. All right. Uh, we'll we'll give it. We we we're good on time. We'll we'll wait. Uh, uh, I've got another twenty seconds here. <laughs> Get that before the FM advertising comes in. And, uh... <laughs> you know, it really feels weird to see myself peeking over Tom's shoulder. <laughs> It's, it's of respect for you. Thank you for everything you do, Terry, to hold Thank this. Thank you. And then there's all the skeletons looking over my oh, shoulder. Oh, yeah, they're and always. This is about, this is the death <laughs> theme again. Yep, you're right. Death. Okay, I, I, I'll send Tom a mess, uh, so Rick a message. If uh, if David Kidman could take over the show and do his bit, and we'll get Rick back later, perhaps. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Um. I had a horrible feeling it was my bandwidth that was going, but I'm, I'm glad it didn't. Uh, otherwise, this song would have been very embarrassing. It's uh, with, with the theme is sex and death, is it not? Um, and I've already sung two songs about death. Yeah, it's so sex, I think it's death, time we had, and it's time we had a bit of sex, <laughs> isn't it? Eh? Um, <laughs> I was going to sing a particular May song that involves sex, but I've just realised I can't. So this one is not a May song. Uh, it's not even amazing. It's just a load of rubbish about sex. <laughs> but it has a traditional kind of feel to it, as most of them do. Uh, now, i just got to remember how it starts. Oh, yes. 
Now as I was once a walking in my place of work one day, I spied a pretty maiden, and she unto me did say, If you've the time and trouble, then I will have you stand, And help me with my windows, sir, for I could use a hand. Well, she'd quite a case before her, and a lovely monitor screen, and the contours of her keyboard were the finest I had seen. I leaned to take a closer look, twas then our eyes did meet. Said she, why don't you press control and follow with alt delete? Well, I'm no expert at this lark, in fact I'm quite a dunce, but I can spot an opening, and I need only asking once. No sooner was I next to her, she this to me did say, I hope you've got your caps lock on, press insert right away. Now she bid me tap on enter, oh, guess then what I found. She had me press on home, and then page up, and then page down. I scanned her user area, I could hardly believe her eyes. For she searched right through me files, and made me RAM increase in size. Now when I plugged in the modem, I could tell she was a sport. For she displayed both parallel and also serial port. Said I, I love a blue screen, yes that will do the trick. And just to be quite certain, gave her mouse a double click. As her new service provider, I gave as much as she could take. But I must shift on out of here, log off now, press escape. For it is getting late, I said, I'm half afraid to ask. But can I save this document? It's time to end the task. Well, the answer that she gave to me, it filled me with surprise. I see now you've a floppy, where once you had a hard drive. But don't erase your memory, for me favour you did earn. And I'll be waiting here for you, should ever you return. <laughs> for I'd opened up her folder and I'd surfed a little while. She'd been desperate for a defrag, her connection I had dialed. We'd scrolled around for hours, but now a thought filled me with fear that I'd have to have a virus check when I get out of here. Well, that's the finish of my song, t'was written not by me, but my me old mate, Duncan Mac. So it's definitely not PC. <laughs> that's a riot. That was great. <laughs> Huzzah, the folk I, tradition continues. Well, I no. did say it was rubbish. <laughs> it's rubbish, but, but it's good rubbish. Hi, Jingo, it's British rubbish. <laughs> it's, it's, it's good oh, rubbish. It's, and it's, good rubbish. <laughs> it's good rubbish, man. Well done, sir. Well Absolutely done. great. I don't think I've ever run into that problem before. My, uh, I got worse than the blue screen of death. It, it said it's going to, your device is having problems and it will now reboot. Yeah. So it did it all by itself. So oh, get that. It's the oh, it floppy disk in your hard drive, I think. No, it's another whole story. Uh, yeah, another whole story. <laughs> Rick, you are up again. So. Um, oh, it... oh, well, I haven't found that poem again. Let me see if I can find it real quickly here. If not, no, no, go to go to somebody else and come you back. Want to hear the end of it? All right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll read the end of it later. Oh, we go to we go to Storm and then back to Rick. So Storm. Okay. Husky, that one, he remembers what it was like to be called wolf. You can see it in his ember eyes, sense it in his stalk and his growl. That one, he remembers what it was like to be called wolf, running prey to exhaustion, fangs sinking into meat, pulling back, carrying apart, Blood dripping from jawline, attention still 
always alert to any other sound. That one he remembers, he comes to me to teach me of the forest, the dark. He comes to me to remind me that after I've overcome fear and re-recognized my power, I too can return to lead the pack. When the pale moon hides and the wild wind wails and over the treetops the night hawk sails, the gray wolf sits on the world's far rim and howls and it seems to comfort him. The wolf is a lonely soul you see, no beast in the wood nor bird in the tree, but shuns his path in the windy gloom. They give him plenty and plenty of room. So he sits with his long, lean face to the sky. So he sits with his long, lean face to the sky, watching the ragged clouds go by. There in the night, alone, apart, singing the song of his lone, wild heart. By away, far away on the world's dark rim, he howls, and it seems to comfort him. The poem was mine. The song is by Georgie. The Beautiful. Song. Thank you. The poem was mine. The song is by Georgia. 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 I don't know why I said Georgia. Georgia Durston. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Rick. You're, okay. you're yes, I almost immediately found it. So uh, should I start at the beginning or start? Okay. No, well, start at the beginning. So do over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to think the universe was made of tiny invisible pinpoints of energy, jostling and tumbling and buzzing together. And so by whatever particular arrangement they took and the way in which they bounced off one another, all sorts, all sorts of physical matter could be produced. Later, we found the universe in actual fact is made of tiny invisible threads of invisible, incredible length. And in the same way, a violin string changes pitch when touched at points along its measured span. So all these interweaving loops and knots this tangle of quantum spaghetti as it flexes and line crosses line. So it resonates throughout the whole bundle, a complex vibratory code that defines any outward appearance and characteristic. After which we discovered the likely reality was of tiny invisible sheets, many layers of infinitesimal th thinness, each film undulating at tremendous speeds multiple parallel oceans, their rippling surfaces folding and flattening, wave crests on wave crests, nudged at and nosed at, their lingering kisses collected, expressed as specific material forms. We were young, we were anxious to clutch at whatever proof fitted. Still, humility liberates. When it comes to matters of truth, we're not picky. Ironing our numbers presented the ideal of tiny invisible shape-shifting blocks that squirm and bulge, interlock and uncouple, that rub, knock, wobble, split, and so make up the whole gamut of substances we take for granted. All this was long ago. Our models had risen to 11-dimensional space when our application for further funding was rejected and we were asked to vacate the premises. We took it well, were optimistic for the future, though that was hardly the crux of the issue, just try transporting 11-dimensional furniture in an incontrovertibly three-dimensional van. Well, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I merely read it. But I'm trying to figure out this folksy Tom over here. It looks incredibly like Terry. 
it, it, it's a cloning virus on the Zoom that eventually we all, become, we all become Terry. Oh, I was hoping more for a cleaning virus. <laughs> all right, we're going to, uh, we're near the end now. So just me and Lynn, and then I think David will take us out. So here's an a cappella one um, that's uh, one of my favorites. It's uh, written by Austin John Marshall, and it's kind of marks, it's a, an anti war song that kind of marks the first battle of the Somme, which was a huge disaster for the British Army in World War I, and a big psychic shock on the nation. And um, this, is the, uh, uh, this is the song that he wrote in the 1960s about it. It's called Dancing at Whitson. It's fifty-one springtimes since she was a bride, but still you may see her at each Whitson tide in a dress of white linen with ribbons of green, as green as her memories of loving. The feet that were nimble. Tread carefully now, as gentle a measure as age do allow. Through groves of white blossom, by fields of young corn, where once she was pledged to her true love. The fields they are empty, the hedges grow free, no young men to tend them, or pastures go seed. They've gone where the forests of oak trees before had gone to be wasted in battle. Down from the green farmlands, and from their loved ones march husbands and brothers and fathers and sons. There's a fine roll of honour where the maple once was, and the ladies go dancing at Whitsun. There's a row of straight houses in these latter days, oh, covering the downs where the sheep used to graze. There's a field of red poppies, a wreath from the queen, but the ladies remember at Whitsun, and the ladies go dancing at Whitsun. Thank you. And now, Lynn, finish us, finish us off here. I mean, there'd be mass death if I did that, wouldn't there? And that would accord with the theme. Um, I'm so rubbish. I, I, I actually hadn't even noticed there was a theme. And if I have noticed there's a theme, I'm incapable of thinking of a single song that fits the theme. Oh, we, so, we, we made it up as we went along. There was no theme. You're okay. Oh, you know, I mean, most of the songs I like are about death and destruction. But I, even if you said there's a theme called death and destruction, I'd say, no, I don't know any songs about that. But there you go. So, Terry, I'd commented that um, your song... Um, was very popular our side of the pond. So I'm going to repay your favor by singing one from your side of the pond. Um, at least it was taught to me from your side of the pond. So I, I assume it is <clears throat> from your side of the pond, but I'm not sure. Right, Maha, so off we go. I'll try and sing it. <clears throat> um, this is, so this is not one I grew up having heard at all, but it is a children's song. Oh, once I had a little dog, his color, it was brown. I taught him how to whistle, to sing and dance and run. 
His legs, they were fourteen yards long, his ears so very white. Around the world in half a day, upon him I could ride. Sing a tarry o day, sing autumn to May, it's because it's still May. Oh, once I had a little frog, he wore a vest of red. He leant upon his silver cane, a top hat on his head. He'd speak of far off places, of things to see and do, of all the kings and queens he'd met while sailing in the shoe. Sing a tarry o day, sing a autumn to May. Oh, once I had a flock of sheep, they grazed upon a feather. I keep them in a music box from wind or rainy weather. And every day the sun would shine, they'd fly all through the town to bring me back some golden rings and candy by the pound. Sing a tarry o day. Sing autumn to May. Oh, once I had a downy swan. She was so very frail. She sat upon an oyster shell and hatched me out a snail. The snail it changed into a bird, the bird to butterfly. And he who tells a bigger tale would have to tell a lie. Sing a tarry o day, sing a autumn to May. There you go. <laughs> That's a terrific song. Although I, I always thought he was Irish. The sing tarry o day sounds. Tarry o day. Um, uh, well, Doug assures me that it's a children's song that you all grew up learning. Really? Um, since since we don't ever sing that song my side of the pond, it must be true. <laughs> I was telling you a tale there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for that. That was great. I, I, I one I ever sang as a kid. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I I've that way. I hadn't heard that one before. It sounded lovely though. And with that, David, will you take us out of here with uh, the parting glass, please? The parting glass. Thank you all for coming. It was bu uh, really a fun session. I enjoyed it. Uh, the parting glass, and I'll follow that with an Irish jig called Happy to Meet and Sorry to Part. Hey, before you start, let me remind folks of our bizarre schedule now. Uh, next week, which is the 21st, and there's a third Saturday, we're going to have one of our open mic sessions. So it's all kind of potluck. If you show up, there may be other people to sing with. And then the following week on the 28th, which is the fourth Saturday, we're going to have Terry's song session, which I will host. And then after that, on the 1st of June, we'll have the Celtic session. Right. Look forward to all of those. All the money that e'er I had I spent it in good company And all the harm that I ever did Alas, it was to none but me And all I've done for want of wit To memory now I can't recall So fill to me the parting glass Good night and joy be with you all. Oh, if I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maid in this town who sorely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheek and ruby lip I own, she has my heart. And throw. 
so fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Oh, all the comrades there I had, they're sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts I ever knew, they'd wish me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise, and you should not, I'll gently rise and I'll softly call, Good night and joy be with you all. I'll softly rise and I'll gently call, Good night and joy be with you all. Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming. Happy May. Happy May. Happy yeah, June. Happy May. You know, happy death May. and death and sex and all that stuff. All the best. Thank you. And thanks for putting up with all our confusing bizarre schedules and changes <laughs> and everything and persevering in order to be here. Remember there's only one link now, the one you use today. Yeah. Oh, I remember him persevering. Yes. Oh, Thank you all. Bob Marley had it. One link. One link. There we go. One mm -hmm. link. Thanks, One link oh. Find them all. And, and yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got it. Lord of the Wings. All right. Yeah, Lord of the Wings. All right. Thank, Thank you, Valley. I'm going to switch the button off here. So that's it. Here it comes. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>